Good morning, YouTube. This is Geographic Scholar. As you can see from the pictures this morning, we had fog this morning. That's what the weather conditions were like in suburban Atlanta this morning. The fog has burned off, the sun has come out, it's lunchtime. Well, this video is about fog and how it forms. The types of fog that are out there depend on how that fog was formed. The fog that we had this morning was most likely a radiation fog. Radiation fog occurs when you have moist air and the heat from that day, it basically radiates up back into space and then the air closer to the ground cools and it cools to a level where water vapor sort of condens or condenses and fog forms. Now, yesterday we had a warm, moist day. It cooled off. And it is also important to know that this type of fog occurs when you have relatively clear, calm conditions and, you know, moist air. So, basically no kind of turbulence or anything like that. Another type of fog advection fog. That occurs when you have air being moved by wind, where you have warm air being sort of moved by wind and then it collides with the cooler air and it's sort of water vapor condenses, forms fog. Now why do I keep mentioning water vapor condensation? Well, Fog is basically what happens when water vapor condenses. In order for fog to form, the difference between the actual air temperature and the dew point has to be very minimal. It cannot be any more than, there cannot be any more difference than 4 degrees on the Fahrenheit scale or 2.5 degrees on the Celsius scale. Like, the humidity doesn't have to be near 100%, but it has to be close. And then you have sea smoke, or what they call steam fog. That is what happens when you have cold air moving over warm water. And, you know, fog forms that way. And you have the foggiest place in the world, which is on the Grand Banks off the coast of Newfoundland. Now, this fog forms when you have, this is what happened, you have a current called the Labrador Current. I have a map here. This North Atlantic region, this area, these are the maritime provinces of Canada. You've got Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Newfoundland, Prince Edward Island where my finger is. Now, to explain how the Grand Banks of Newfoundland have, are the foggiest, this is the foggiest place in the world, let's explain this. Ocean currents. Right here, you've got the Labrador current coming off the coast. This is a cold ocean current. And then you have a warm ocean current coming up. You have the Gulf Stream right here. It moves up through here, and it hits this area. It hits this area, and it produces the perfect conditions for very, very thick fog. Right here on this area, right off the coast. And with those conditions, you know, you get plenty of fog. This is Geographic Scholar, signing off.